Girl applicants, these are the simple steps and simple ways you can be able to go about this funding of a thing. There's a certain amount of Norwegian krona that is expected of you to be paid into this school account. This money you can pay with your country money directly into the school account. Remember that this confirmation receipts of payments that you received is one of the documentations for your visa process. Hello family, welcome to the program Special Talk Moment with Mma and Never Stop Dreaming on Princess Mma TV. Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to our channel. Welcome to Princess Mma TV. Guys, my apologies that I did not post video last week but I'm here now, right? Right? Yeah, I am here for you guys and today I brought that frequently asked question by most of you can you guess funding based on the thumbnail of this video and also based on the topic of this video which is funding a lot of us want to know how much funding one has to put in place to plan coming to Norway as you all know Norway schools are tuition free of charge you study free of charge in Norway you are required to pay any tuition free except the funding which is necessary the more evidence you have to show before you can be able to acquire visa coming to Norway so the funding I'm going to talk about today is for the study permits also I will list few other funding types as well in this video that you can also go ahead and check out by yourself I will also drop the link which everyone know already udi.no that's where you can find every other thing concerning the funding in this same video I will also show you how you can be able to go about it I will leave a short clip on the screen that will show you how to go about the process one after the order until you see everything you need to know about funding First of all, let's explain a little about this funding. How does it work in Norway, guys? I promise some of you already that I'm going to do this video. How is it all about, guys? How does this funding of a thing work in Norway, guys? But before we dive into this topic, this is your first time to our channel. You're welcome to Princess Mama TV. You're highly welcome. I'm glad having you here in our channel today on Special Talk Moment with Mama and Never Stop Dreaming. And if you are our returning subscriber, you know how we do it here. You are the real VIP. Thank you always for tuning in to Princess Mama TV. Please, you that is new, if you have not subscribed, kindly do as well to subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to Princess Mama TV. Share out our videos. There are a lot of people out there that needs to hear about this information. Yes, guys, a lot of people are out there that want such information, but they have not seen. Please help us share out this video. Thank you in advance for sharing now. For detailed explanation to your questions, kindly follow me on my Instagram handle and chat me below. And if you wish to communicate directly to Princess Emma, here also I'll put you through on how you can be able to go about that. So let's hop into the video. Dear applicants, these are the simple steps and simple ways you can be able to go about this funding of a thing. First, when you get the link, which is www.studyinnorway.no, go to where to study or what to study. Look for courses related to what you studied already in your degree because most courses here are being given to you based on what you did at your degree level. Then check out the necessary requirements. If you meet up with all these necessary requirements, just go ahead and apply for the admission. So you never can tell if you get a congratulatory message, then boom, here starts the process. There's a certain amount of Norwegian krona that is expected of you to be paid into the school account. This money you can pay with your country money directly into the school account. At the school website, you also see their bank details, everything you need to see the pertaining, sending the money forward to the school account. Note, Norwegian schools will not ask you to send this money if you did not get admission. So only expected to pay this money into the account. Once you get the correct message, 
you've been giving like two to three weeks to pay in this money into your school accounts and which a certain receipt will be sent to you confirmation receipts that this money has been received into the school accounts remember that this confirmation receipts of payments that you receive is one of the documentation for your visa process at the Norwegian embassy in your country so once you acquire your visa then every other thing takes place boom you are here in Norway and then you enter Norway and you start off all your permit process and all that and also I forgot to tell you that this money that you pay into school accounts will after be pushed back into your Norwegian account let you enter Norway and you start off all your permit process in Norway. Yes, I know your ears are aching to hear how much you are supposed to pay. Do not worry, just choose that a little, okay? I am coming at that and I will talk about that. Once you start off your permit process, there is a number that everybody in Norway has, which is known as personal number. This personal number is an identification of who you are. That means Anywhere this number is being called or being encoded into computer, every information about you comes out on the screen. That is your identification number. Definitely, of course, if you finish your permit process, you will definitely get the personal number in Norway. And this personal number is made up of 11 digits. So before you get your personal number, there is a card that is given to you by your school that is equivalent to a bank card so that you can have access to withdraw. This card enables you to withdraw money, notes, you cannot transfer money with this card. And this card has a maximum withdrawal time weekly and also monthly, which I am not too sure about, but I think is between the range of 9,000 10,000 krona that you can withdraw weekly or monthly. Remember, the money that you're being given access to withdraw with this card is the money you paid into the school account. You're being given this card to withdraw this money so that you can be able to foot your bills, feed yourself before your bank opening account gets ready. So once you start the process of opening your bank account, that's Immediately you have gotten the personal number, you can be able to open a bank account in Norway. And once your bank account is immediately ready in Norway and you inform the school that your bank account is ready, the money that you pay into the school bank account will be automatically pushed directly to your bank account. Yes guys, that's how that works. So I also want to use this medium to inform you guys that admissions in Norway have started. Some schools have started admissions. Why some will start this October? So do yourself well to check out the www.studyinnorway.me And also, remember what I told you in the beginning of this video, how to search about it. Some schools may start admissions October and end 10th of January for a non-EU you that is not an European or does not live in Norway or any EU country your deadline for closure of admission is 10th of January this depends this varies from school to school so do yourself well to go back and check this one I just spoke about is for the University of Stavanger so you that is an EU applicant your deadline for closure of an application for the University of Savanga is March 1st and the application deadline for bachelor degrees for Nordic countries is 15th of April if you're interested to apply for the University of Savanga check out admissions at uis.no and also check out the link if you wish to apply at the University of Savanga check out this link www.uis.no slash when apply so follow up every instruction there and apply so now i'm going to talk about the excess money that is expected of you for the funding so i'm going to go ahead and read it out for you so you can also check it out by yourself later so once you get to the udi.no page is written in norwegian you can translate it to english language then go to university college or university so the requirement for student permit about the funding requirement of the student permit you said 
you must pay an application fee so that one i'll come back later and talk about i'll click on the link you can also click on it and show you guys but let me read down first and show you tell you how it is you must have been admitted to the university college or university you must study full time you must have money to live on during the period you are going to study in Norway. This means at least knock one to eight 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 seven one hundred and twenty eight thousand eight hundred and eighty seven per year for the entire school year. If you are going to be a student for only one semester in Norway, you must document knock 58,585 for the autumn semester and knock 70,302 for the spring semester. This amount of money may consist of student loans, grants, own funds that you have in a Norwegian bank account or the deposit account of the educational institution or a combination of the above. If you have already been offered a part-time job in Norway, the income from this work may be included. Please note that if you do not have a bank account in Norway, you may use the bank account at the institution where you are going to study. Remember, I talked about this one that you have to open your bank account once you finish, uh, once you get to Norway. But as you have not already been in Norway, you don't have a bank account. So you have to send the money to the bank account of the institution where you have to study. So let's continue. You must contact the institution where you are going to study for any details regarding this arrangement if you have to pay tuition fees you must also have money to cover this you must have somewhere to live the circumstances in your home country must indicate that it is likely that you can return home when you have completed your studies so you can go ahead guys read down read down read down read down to know more so so now you know the price the funding price that is expected of you to pay into the school account so this is about the funding you student applicant okay pay an application fee so here are the list of application fee type of application resident permit for work also renewals six thousand three hundred so I think this one is for okay you that is here you're renewing your resident permits for work okay group permit for employers per worker six thousand three hundred krona study permit for applicants over the age of eighteen five thousand nine hundred this is your study permit renewal of your visa while you are already in Norway. Study permit for applicants under the age of 18. So there's nothing written there. AU pay permits also renewals 9,100 krona. Permit for researchers with own fund 5,900 krona. So also do yourself well to read more and also know what they need from you so guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video please if you have not subscribed please do also and subscribe to our channel subscribe to our channel and share our videos this will be a wrap up for us for our today's video guys feel free to comment on the comment section and remember for detailed explanation follow and chat me up on my instagram handle at Madi and like our page on Facebook at Princess Mma TV. Here also we share informative videos. Anything you want to know about Norway, guys, this on these pages. Follow us, chat us up, drop your comments, let us know what you think, guys. We are here serving you with the best. 
thank you for watching princess Mma, as this is a wrap up for us today on this channel see you again with another beautiful field content on the channel princess Mma tv guys have a lovely day guys for watching once again and see you in our next video bye bye <laughs>